la la. Like the video, subscribe to Fahad's channel, and become a member, as that helps a lot. Let me show you something really cool. Although the campaign was not a complete success, it did provide Napoleon with valuable experience and prestige. This video has been generated by just a text prompt, this image and audio all fused together with the help of Infinite Talk model which I have installed locally. I am going to also show you how you can get it installed. So what I did, I took this image from my local system, all AI generated. Then a text prompt which says a woman is passionately speaking while looking at the camera and then an audio file again an AI generated one. Although the campaign was not a complete success. And then it fused all of it together and generated the video which I just showed you. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that not only helps the channel but also it will enable you be, uh, to be featured on the home page of channel as you can see here. So really kudos to all of these members who you can see at the moment. So what exactly is this model which I just showed you? This model is Infinite Talk, which I believe is one cool model out there at the moment. It is a sparse frame video dubbing system. You give it a source video or even a single image plus a new speech or audio track. It generates an output video that keeps the person's identity, background and camera motion while resynthesizing lip, head, face and body movements to match the audio even for infinite length sequences. That's correct. So it just doesn't edit the mouth only. It also preserves a few key reference frames from the source to anchor identity and style. And then it lets the rest of the motion follow the audio, yielding more natural, emotionally coherent dubbing than traditionally lip only method. I have covered a lot of models in this um, scenario and I can tell you this is one of the best which I have seen. They have open source the model Apache 2 license and they also have a GitHub repo and I will shortly also show you all the commands which I have used in order to generate the video so that you can also do it straight up. And not only that, you can also do video dubbing with it. So what I have done here, I have just given it my own video where I am speaking into the camera. It does have audio, but uh, you can't hear it. So this is just me talking into the camera some time back. And the prompt is simple. A man is talking. The audio which I want to play is in another voice. Like the video, subscribe to channel and become a member as that helps. So this is the audio which I am going to do. So I already have run it. By the way, it takes around 15 minutes. So be aware of that. It is going to take a bit of a time. Don't expect it to finish very quickly. I will also show you my VRAM consumption, but let me first show you the output. Let me play it. Like the video, subscribe to channel and become a member as that helps a lot. Like the video, subscribe to channel and become a member as that helps a lot. So it has, um, you know, sort of enhanced the video. But you can see that the eyes are like not the really video. There. Subscribe to channel and become a member as that helps a lot. So this was some time back, but I think uh, it could do better in terms of eyes. So I'll just play the original. You see, my eyes are just focused, uh, but they are just looking at the camera, not upwards. But that one has bit crooked. Let me quickly show you the VRAM consumption. So this is it is consuming at the moment just three gig of vram but it just jumps up when i use it um, let me run it to show you i'm generating yet another artifact and this time i have just given it the previous image and then a, a text prompt this is uh, let me i will tell you the prompt when it is done i think that should be more fun so when, let's wait for it to finish. You can see that it is going to take a lot of time around close to 15 minutes for every generation. 
let's check the vram consumption so this is where it is working we don't have any eta at the moment and if i look at the vram consumption just over 10 gig of gpu uh, memory it is consuming so vram consumption is quite good and if i quickly show you what it has done so far so it has downloaded lot of models lot of models let me quickly show you the uh, all the commands which i have used so i have just created a virtual environment i have installed all the prerequisites i have downloaded the model and then i have launched the gradio demo and that's about it you can simply run it and then you can just simply start using it let me quickly also show you my uh, system specs i'll just cancel this one and this is my gpu nvidia h100 the TGP of VRAM, but you can already see that you just need over 11 gig of around 11 or 10 gig of VRAM. And even if you want to use lower on their repo, they have a command where you just decrease the number of steps and you can even run it on 8 gig of VRAM and or even less. So, and my operating system is simply this Ubuntu one. Now, while it uh, generates that stuff. And this is going to take some time and stay and wait for it i am more than sure you are going to enjoy this if not i will return your money and if you're looking to rent a gpu or vm on very affordable price you can find the link to past computing videos description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpu and i also want to introduce you to our very good friend that agent who is a multi-agent ai workforce which you can use to tackle any complex workflow and you will find the link in video's description too well look while it installs uh, and do that let's talk a bit more around the model's architecture so as i said earlier model is a streaming audio driven generator tra trained with conditional flow matching yes we already have covered a lot of other models which have this sort of architecture but the thing, in my opinion, which makes it different is that it uses a video very uh, auto variational auto encoder to work in a latent space and a larger diffusion transformer whose blocks include audio cross attention driven by a wave to vec to audio encoder and reference frame cross attention. At inference time, it generates long videos in chunks and each new chunk ingests several context frames from the end of the previous output to carry motion momentum plus a reference frame from the source to preserve identity and camera trajectory and all of this avoids both error accumulation and abrupt transitions seen in other baselines one of the my favorite idea if you go through their paper is soft conditioning where they know how to pick reference frames during training and they have found out that choosing one near the current chunk m3 balances fidelity and freedom which is strong enough to keep identity background and one example of that thing is this video generated earlier the first one just look at her arm movement so it has even you know changed the image to do the movements of the limbs although the campaign was not a complete success it did provide napoleon with valuable experience and prestige yes you know it doesn't show the hand very clearly but it, there is some motion right so that just brings more expressiveness to the whole video okay this video is still uh, generating it so let's wait and i will show you and it's almost 14 minutes i'll also show you so if we go there you can see that it is still running i think this is the last step and it it might also take three minutes so around you can see that 15 minutes or so it is taking and the video is generated let me play it for you and i will just end it i won't say anything else but before i play it all i want to say is that you guys don't listen to me at least listen to her Ooh la la, like the video, subscribe to Fahad's channel, and become a member, as that helps a lot. Ooh la la, like the video, subscribe to Fahad's channel, and become a member, as that helps a lot.